Hi, kids. This is your amazing Spider-Man read-along book. Every time you hear this sound, it means it's time to turn the page in your storybook. Now we're ready to begin a wonderful Spider-Man adventure called The Big Top Mystery. Remember, when you hear the sound, turn the page. Peter Parker is a very smart science student. One day he went to a very interesting science demonstration. Little did he realize that the experiment in radiation would change his life forever. For unknown to anyone, a small spider was hit by a beam of radiation. And that spider fell on Peter and bit him on the hand. The bite from the radioactive spider suddenly gave Peter superhuman strength. And he could crawl on walls just like a spider. He made himself some special web shooters and a costume and became the superhero known as Spider-Man. One day, Peter and his Aunt May went to the circus. I love circuses, says Aunt May. And this one is owned by a dear friend of mine, Brad Steele. I remember you talking about him, says Peter. He's really famous. Hi, it's May and Peter. Shouts Brad, coming out of the circus tent. Welcome. I'm so happy to meet you. Let me introduce you to my grandson, Bobby. He's going to perform on the trapeze, just as I did when I was young. Hello, says Bobby. My grandfather has told me a lot about you both. He says you're a newspaper photographer, Peter. Maybe I'll get some shots of you for the paper, says Peter. Once they're seated, Aunt May begins to worry. Brad looks so happy, says Aunt May. But he must really be sad. He's had lots of bad luck lately, and he must sell his circus. Before Peter can say anything, his spider sense begins tingling. Trouble's near, thinks Peter to himself. I must turn into Spider-Man. Excuse me, Aunt May, says Peter. I think I'll go and get us some popcorn and some soda. All right, Peter, says Aunt May. Quick as a flash, Peter dashes into an empty tent and changes into Spider-Man. I wonder who would be mean enough to cause trouble in a circus, thinks Spider-Man. Could this person be the reason why Brad Steele must sell his circus? I'm going to stop this trouble before someone gets hurt. Everyone loves a parade, especially a circus parade. Everyone oohs and ahs at the beautiful costumes. The audience laughs at the funny clowns. Everyone is amazed by all the big jungle animals. And there, on an elephant's back, is one of the stars of the show, little Bobby Steele. But the biggest applause of all is given to the owner and ringmaster, the world-famous performer, Brad Steele. Wow, says Spidey, high above everyone. Fred sure knows how to put on a great show. Suddenly, to everyone's horror, the lead elephant goes wild. Help! Screams the woman riding it. I can't control Jumbo! Somebody do something! Never fear, Spidey's here, says Spidey, swinging down. I just hope I can stop him before he stampedes into the stands, thinks Spidey. But how do you stop an elephant gone mad, wonders Spidey. Wait, what's that sticking out of the elephant's head? Aha, says Spidey. This is what caused the elephant to go wild. And he quickly pulls a dart out of the elephant's forehead. Immediately, the elephant calms down. Hooray for Spidey! Everyone shouts. I wonder who shot this dart, thinks Spidey. Brad Steele motions for Spidey to come down beside him. Pretend it's all part of the show, Spidey. Please, whispers Brad. I'll explain everything later, tonight, when everybody's gone. Spidey nods his head. The audience roars its approval. Never before have they seen such a great stunt. That night, Spidey enters the big top and sees Brad Steele waiting for him. Times have been tough, Spidey, says Brad. I want Bobby to have a good life, go to college, make something of himself. But the circus is losing money. I thought putting it up for sale would solve my problems, but it just made them worse. Someone's trying to ruin me. Don't worry, says Spidey. I'll stop that madman, 
That's a promise. The next day is really special. The lion tamer is showing the big audience some new tricks he's taught his big cats. Nothing can happen now, thinks Spidey. All those lions are in cages. Suddenly, the monkeys, lions, bears, giraffes, in fact, all the animals start roaring and screaming in pain. Oh, no, says Spidey. Someone is using an ultrasonic whistle that only animals in my Spidey senses can detect. It'll drive them all wild. <laughs> 